Strongman's vlog, star date, um, I don't know, I got the wrong science fiction thing going on. So tomorrow I've got a gig over for the staff at Montclair State University. They've got a Lord of the Rings type of theme going. I'm gonna see what it is that I can do to make my presentation fit the theme. But for now, oh, I could use a shave. So one thing that I gotta do tonight, plus I figure I'm just gonna pack up my bags tonight because I gotta leave by 6.45 in the morning and I'm gonna wanna get as much sleep as I can. Two decks of cards. I see that there's already a lag screw in there, so make that two. Two locks. Two pipe wrenches. Let's see, make sure that that fits. Yeah, that fit. Rebar is still in there from my last trip to Home Depot, so I'll just leave that there for now. And two pieces of steel. Come over to my collection of frying pans and grab some. It's the morning of the gig. Um, my daughter actually wasn't feeling well last night, threw up twice which kind of kept me up all night, never really got good sleep, and I'm pretty tired, but you know what? There's a job to do, and I'm gonna do it. But it is time to go, and I'm gonna set, set my uh, okay. phone. I just finished the uh, first show for the staff of Montclair State University at that retreat. I'm gonna be doing this again tomorrow. One of the things I realized is that I ha had, hadn't turned on the microphone, so the video doesn't have any audio, which kind of stinks because I felt like that was one of my better talks. Oh well, say la vie as they say. Better luck tomorrow, I hope I remember to turn on the microphone. It is the next day, the day of the second show for the, the same people, for the staff of Montclair State University. And I just got here and man, I just wanted to show you this view. Check out how beautiful this is. It's one of the nice things about being a performing strongman and motivational speaker is that I go to a lot of different places and see a lot of different things and, and it keeps a tremendous amount of variety in my life. Variety, as they say, is the spice of life. But gotta get ready for the show. I read some of this, uh, get it right. So our guest has performed feats of strength on television for colleges, schools, companies. Uh, he has his own TED talk, apparently. Uh, I watched him on YouTube and I, I thought he was bigger on YouTube, and then I met him yesterday, and I was like, he's not that big of a guy, but it's pretty cool. So, he's going to share his story. Uh, it's, a, it's a story of, of inspiration and leadership and, and understanding that, you know, no, small, no one person can do it all themselves, and no one's too small to do it all themselves, and that uh, if you really want to, uh, you know, move forward, you can do it. You'd be surprised what you can achieve once you put your mind to it. So before that, he's gonna, you're gonna witness some firsthand uh, feats of strength. He's gonna tell us the story. Uh, so right now what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to introduce him, but everybody please give a, 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 a rousing uh, applause for Mr. Eric Moss. I'm gonna teach you to break the locks and chains that prevent you from reaching your true potential. Which coincidentally brings me to my first set of feats. Upon my upper arms are some cuffs that are attached to a steel chain. And on my wrist are some shackles that are attached to a padlock. And what I'm going to attempt to do is to break free of these using my strength. First, the chain. That's 
one. Next one up, padlock. just finished doing the inspirational presentation for the staff at Montclair State University at their employee retreat and I just wanted to share some of my thoughts while I go on this quick nature walk because it really is pretty out here. <clears throat> the presentations themselves went well. I wasn't able to use a lot of the footage because someone was standing in front of the camera during part of it but that's okay because I only actually need a little bit for these video logs anyways. So, sometimes when you're up there, you can hear that you're doing a, a better job than others. You know, sometimes you have on days, sometimes you have off days. And even though yesterday was an on day, I didn't record the video. Today, I, or record the audio, I mean. I'm assuming that my audio worked okay today, and I could kind of hear from my own voice that I was doing a pretty decent job. 
One of the things when you're a professional speaker is realistically speaking, you know you're not gonna get to every single person that you're talking to. Anybody that says that they inspire every single person in the room is probably a little, just a little bit delusional. When you're a professional speaker, you're really just trying to, you, though you do speak to everyone, you're hoping to hit the one person that really needs it the most. And you don't always know who that person is, because it's just, you, don't, you know, like we don't see the struggles of others. But one of the common things that happens after my, my presentation is that people approach me to tell me what, it, what my presentation meant to them and, and how I affected them and inspired them and et cetera, et cetera. At this particular one, you know, like I don't know the struggles that people are going through, but one of the, the fellows had told me that he's got cancer and that going through the, the chemo treatments is hard and, and stuff like that. And I'm like, just hang in there. And, and you know, like I'm really glad that he told me that because, you know, like when, when you go do your thing, you, you want to make sure that you matter, that you mean something to, that something you said means something to someone, you know? <clears throat> and it also gives me someone to donate my, my rebar ribbons to. So I'm looking forward to painting that and sending it off to him. But anyways, I'm going to conclude this video. And I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you next week.